Mark Cuban is running for president in 2024? Mark Cuban is a nearby millionaire who makes his neighborhood his home and may often be seen walking about. Whoever can coexist peacefully with those who are prosperous, as well as those who are impoverished, will emerge victorious. When he becomes enthusiastic, it's nearly impossible to contain your want to join in on the good time. He has the respect of people who identify with both the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss Mark Cuban is running for president in 2024, so stay tuned to find out. Now let's start our video. Although he has spent most of his life in Dallas, Texas, a Republican stronghold, it is important to note that he was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, a critical Democratic state, and has lived in Dallas, Texas, a Republican stronghold since 1982. Although he has spent most of his life in Dallas, it is important to note that he was born in Pittsburgh. The recent entry of technology businesses like Tesla into the market in Texas has the potential to change the state into a forum that will be used in political contests. Due to these variables, Cuban, who has created more than 10 businesses and invested in more than 400 new companies, is now an enticing candidate for the White House. In the past, he had not done a very good job of keeping his aims and purposes a secret from others. In 2016, he gave the impression that he would certainly think about being Hillary Clinton's running mate if she became the Democratic presidential candidate. If she did become the Democratic presidential candidate. He would absolutely think about being her running mate. During that period, he stated on NBC's Meet the Press that the key would be that she'd have to go closer to the center. And he also expressed interest in running for the Republican nominee Donald Trump's ticket. The key would be that she'd have to go closer to the center, Cuban explained. I'd be like, okay, Donald, that is a fantastic accomplishment. Let's have a conversation about it. But before we can come up with solutions, the two of us will have to dive in headfirst and thoroughly investigate and comprehend the challenges we face. I'd be like, okay, Donald, that is a fantastic fantastic accomplishment. Let's have a conversation. He went on to say that the election of Donald Trump as a candidate had opened the door for unconventional individuals to run for the presidency. Well, it's certainly more of a consideration than it was in the past, for the reasons we've already mentioned. That you don't have to be the perfect Stepford candidate like you would have been in the past, he explained. According to CNBC, Mark Cuban supported Joe Biden for president in the 2020 election, even though he considered Biden to be technologically illiterate. At a time when technology is the most powerful instrument we have to compete economically, medically, and militarily in the world. Cuban supported Biden even though he considered Biden technologically illiterate. If you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now let's continue. The president does not have to be a tech expert, he said, but having a strong understanding of the impact and capabilities of artificial intelligence, robotics, personalized medicine, and other technologies is a needed skill set in today's world. He was also critical of outgoing President Trump, saying, I think Donald no longer puts the best people in place. He did that when he first became president, and I was proud of him for it. However, he's only interested in persons loyal to him, which is a cause for concern, as he explained to Sean Hannity of Fox News in May of 2020. We don't pick the best candidates, Cuban remarked in November of 2020 on the Verge's Decoder podcast. Even though he supported Biden, he added that it was sad that Americans had to choose between two men because neither of them was the best option. I don't think anyone in this room is going to claim that Joe Biden and Donald Trump were the best and brightest this country has to offer. I don't even think anyone is going to suggest they were the best and brightest candidates in the primaries of either major priority. We are already feeling the drawbacks of having a political duopoly. Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban said, The billionaire has never veiled his distaste for the two-party system, and he suggested that he may run as an independent candidate, the Democratic and Republican parties. In a tweet from October 2020, he said, Together they are the definition of an anti-competitive cooperation that has been effective in locking out the competition in a manner that is damaging to the American people every minute of every day. When asked if he plans to run for president again, Mark Cuban told The Street in an email interview, No way. I believe I can have a greater impact outside of the system, he says, adding, Our political system is broken. The midterm elections are coming up in a few days and the 2024 election cycle will start soon after. Cuban has made his decision. He will not run for president again as he did in 2016 and 2020. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comments section how this one was. I hope that you found this video interesting. You can subscribe and watch more videos on our channel to keep up with more content. We'll see you in the following video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.